For our last application of linear equations, I want to check out some mixture problems. They are so called because you'll have a couple of different items that you actually mix in together and you have to answer some questions about them. For example one, let's suppose for an experiment you have two gallons of something that is 50% acid and then there's five gallons of something that is 10% acid. If you were to pour these two things together, what is the concentration of acid in the final mixture? So that is, find the final percent after you pour these into each other. A couple of things to point out. Uh, the answer would not be 60%. Like, you don't just add these two percentages together. In fact, whatever the answer is, I'm going to call it, let's say, x. That's going to be the final concentration or percent. Whatever it is. It's got to be between 10% and 50%. Like these two things should sort of like balance out and land somewhere in the middle. Furthermore, there's two gallons of the 50%, but there's more. There's five gallons of the 10%. So I know more about my answer. Whatever it is, it's got to be closer to 10% than it would be 50%. And the reason is there's more of this stuff than this. So if I think about my answer, it is closer to 10 than it is to 50%. My general strategy for solving a mixture problem is to set up an equation. One side is going to be what I mix together in terms of the acid, and on the other side is going to be what I end up with. So I just wrote that out as on one side, we're going to write down what we mix together in terms of the acid, and on the other side is what we end up with. So if I start with what I mix, I have something that is 2 gallons and is 50% acid. If I want to know how much acid is in this, I would take the percent, convert it to a decimal, and multiply it by 2. That is how much acid is in this 2 gallons. In fact, it's half. It's going to be one gallon of acid. If I then go ahead and pour in this five gallons of a 10% acid, that means I'm going to add in this 10% of five gallons. This is the amount of acid in this mixture. This is the amount of acid in my second mixture. And to mix them together means I'm going to add the two different values together. So on the left side of my equation, what I mix is the acid from the first plus the acid from the second. Now on the other side of my equation, it's going to be what I end up with. On this side, there were two separate pieces because I had two separate solutions. But on this side, I just want one thing, some percent times some amount. OK. What that'll look like is going to be, again, a percent times an amount. The percent is the thing that I don't know. I'm calling it x. So I'm going to put x right here. It's going to be some percent times the amount of stuff that I have in total. If I have two gallons of one and five gallons of the other, the total amount of solution that I have is going to be 7 gallons, or maybe I'll just put a step in before that, 2 plus 5. So let's take a step back and just make sure that this equation is correct. On the left side is what I mixed together. This is the amount of acid in the first mixture plus the amount of acid that's in the second mixture. There's two separate pieces because I had two separate containers. On the other side, what I end up with it's just 1%, I don't know what it is, times one amount. Clearly, I'm going to have 7 gallons of stuff times some percent that I don't know. My goal is to now ignore the context of this problem and solve this relatively simple linear equation. So let's do that. Um, if I simplify this, 0.5 times 2 is just 1. And then 0.1 times 5 is 0.5. And on the other side of my equation, that's x times 7. And we would just write that as 7 times x. On the left, I get 1.5 is equal to 7x 
to get x by itself, I'll divide both sides by 7. And I'll do this in my calculator. 1.5, 5 by 7. It's a decimal that goes on forever, but I'm going to write down, I guess, three decimal places to get a good approximation. I get 0 0.214. I need to convert that from a uh, this decimal back into a percent, and I'll do that by moving it a total of two places. This is about 21.4%. If you think about the answer to this problem, it does make sense in terms of what we talked about over here. It's a value between 10 and 50%, but it's closer to 10% than it is to 50%. So if you mix two gallons of 50% acid with five gallons of a 10% acid, the concentration settles in at about 21.4%. For example two, again, another mixture problem, but it's gonna be a little bit different in terms of what we solve for. So we're gonna start this one the same way. Suppose you have two gallons of a 50% acid solution, but you actually need a 60% acid solution. So the 50 is no good. You need something that is 60% acid. Now, luckily, we'll assume that you have this 85% acid solution that's just lying around. If you pour 85% acid into something that is 50% acid, it's gonna raise the 50% up, and you wanna choose the right amount so it lands at 60%. So that's what this question is asking for. How much of the 85 do you pour into the 50 to increase the concentration to 60%? It's a confusing question, but the good news is the equation will be very similar to the one that we just worked with. So by that I mean, I'm going to set this up as what I mix together and set it equal to what I want to end up with. I'm going to first define my variable. I'll call it x, but this is going to be gallons of the 85% solution. How much of that 85% solution am I pouring into the 50% solution? Here's what my equation looks like. On the left, I'm still taking 50% of my two gallons. But this time, the thing that I pour in is going to be some amount of the 85% solution. The best I can do is put 0.85 and multiply it by x. So this is different than in the first example. Um, the reason is it's still like, you know, half of the first solution. But then here, I'm pouring in some amount, but I just don't know how much it is. So the best way I can write it is just going to be 0.85 times x. So again, two separate pieces because I'm mixing two things in together. And on the other side of my equation, I just want one piece. Now, I know that I want it to be 60%. It's going to be 60% times some amount of liquid that I have. And it's going to be 2 plus x. That's because I'm taking 2 gallons and I'm adding in some other number of gallons, and the best way to write it is just like this. So this equation, it's really similar to the previous example, but the only difference is x appears in two locations. I'm again gonna ignore the context of this problem and just focus on solving this equation. I'll distribute the 0.6, combine some like terms, and go from there. So 0.5 times two is just gonna be one. And then my 0.85x I can't do anything with. Now I can distribute the 0.6. I get 1.2 plus 0.60x. I think my strategy will be to subtract 0.6x from both sides. When I do that, I get 1 plus 0.25x is equal to 1.2. I'll then subtract 1 from both sides, and I get 0.25x is equal to 
1.2 minus 1 is just 0.2. I then divide both sides by 0.25. And I have my answer. 0.2 divided by 0.25. and I get 0 0.8, and that's gallons. I have to pour in 0.8 gallons of this 85% acid solution into the 50% acid solution to increase it up to 60%.